Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, we've got our little Divi e-commerce store here. I've got a product image here. When I hover over it, a little Add to Cart button is going to pop up. And of course you can click on it and add it to your cart. Uh, let's just take a look at our cart, make sure it's in there. There it is, one red dress. Let's get rid of it. Okay, well let's go back to our page. That's a nice little effect to have on your site. Really easy to do. So let's get started. I'm going to enable the visual builder so we can build on the front end. Once enabled, let's go down to where we want to work. I've got a section here, the blue tab. Inside I've got a row with three columns. Obviously you configure yours how you want to. Inside this next column here, I'm going to hit the little black button to add a new module. Divi comes as standard with all these modules, plenty enough to build just about any site. When you add WooCommerce, you'll find the WooCommerce modules right there. If you click on that, it'll give you a bunch of new modules to advertise your products with. I'm going to use the Add to Cart button here. There it is right there. And as you can see, it pops it in here with a few options. Let's add the product that we want. From the product drop down here, I'm going to go and let's have a look. I've got a red dress there. Let's see if we've got a blue dress. There we go. Let's pop that one in there, perhaps. Great. It's found our little dress there. Down below, you've got elements. You can show stock or show quantity field. I don't think I want to show either of those. I just want them to be able to click on it and add it to the cart. OK, if we roll on down, down below, you've got a link button to link the actual module somewhere. You could link that to the actual product yourself if you wanted to take it to the full product page. The button's still going to add it to the cart for you. I'm going to leave that blank for mine today. At the moment, we're not going to put a background in here or an admin label. Let's just pop over to our design. I'm going to just go to the text. I'm going to pop the button into the middle for mine today. Great. OK, well, let's get the image for the blue dress. Let's just save this. And the way this has worked, if you watch any of my other Divi videos with horror effects, we've got an image here, which is actually in the column of the row and our module sitting on top. That way we can trigger our hover effects and what have you. So I'm going to go into the row, the green tab. We're working on the middle column. Here's the middle column. I'm going to go down to the background to find the image that I want to use for this product. And you've got color, gradient, image, video, background pattern or background mask as usual with Divi. I want an image. Let's find the blue dress. I guess that'll be it. Okay, at the moment we can just see a little bit of the top there. So what you want to do is add a bit of padding to make it the size that you want it. Now I want mine pretty much the same as my one next door, so I'm going to use the same padding as I used for that. So let's go over and save our column. We'll save our row. Let's go back into our little module now and we can make it the shape that we want. Over to Design tab, and we go down to Spacing, and we're going to use a bit of padding top and bottom to make it the space, the size that I want it. I happen to know from the one next door, I put 300 pixels padding on the top, and I think I put 20 pixels padding on the bottom. Obviously, you make yours the size and aspect that you want there. Okay, so we've got that in there. Now I want to make that button a little more interesting. I mean, it's OK, but I just want to make it more in keeping with our site here. So let's close up the spacing. And if we roll up just a little bit, there's the button. I'm going to hit Use Custom Styles for button. Text size itself is fine. I'm going to make the text color white. I'm going to give it a pink background like I've been using for the rest of this site here. I've got a little chrome color picker up here. Let's just grab this. Hex code. And I'll pop it in there. That's fine. Don't want the white border around there particularly. So I'm going to take the border off with the border width just down below here. Or of course you can make it any color you want. And we could change that color on hover if you wanted to. So perhaps a purple. And this is common to all Divi modules. If you hover over the dark writing at the top here, 
you'll find some little icons. If there's a little arrow icon, we can set a hover state for it. Desktop states when your mouse is not on it, we'll leave it that color right there. Hover state obviously is when your mouse is on it. Let's make it perhaps purple when the mouse is on it. That's fine. And we'll flip it back to desktop. Great. Not going to do too much to this button. Divi's just partnered with Font Awesome, so there's a lot of icons here. Now you can either search, or they've got a little button here. If you click on it, it'll pop out in the break, breakout box for you. I'm going to search for a cart, though. There's a little cart with a plus. That'll work for me. And I want to show that all the time. So button icon color, I want it white. Right-hand side's fine. I want it to be there all the time. So where it says only show icon on hover, I want to flip this to no so it shows it all the time. Great. And we'll put a bit of text shadow in there, make that text stand out just a little bit more. And let's finish off just with a bit of box shadow. Great, well that's looking how we want it, but initially I don't want to see that button. I only want to see it when somebody puts their mouse anywhere over this image. So still in our design settings, we can keep rolling down and we'll find filters. Click on filters and we're going to roll down until we see opacity. There we go, opacity. Now opacity is transparency or see-throughness if you like. So when we first view this image, I don't want to see it at all. I'm going to take the opacity all the way down to zero. As you can see, or as you can't see, the buttons disappear. When we hover over it, I want it to come back. So again, I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to hover over, get the little arrow up. Desktop, it's fine being invisible. When we hover over it, I want it to come back and be fully visible. Great. And the time it actually takes to go from desktop state to hover state with Divi, by default is 300 milliseconds. That's pretty quick. I like to slow mine down for a little bit of drama. To do that, go up to your advanced, roll on down a bit, you'll see transitions there. There's the default 300 milliseconds. I'm gonna speed mine up to maybe half a second, a bit slower perhaps, 600 milliseconds. Don't want any delay, want it to happen as soon as their mouse hits it. And the transition speed curve I wanna use Ease is okay. I'm actually going to use ease in out for mine. That way it'll ease back out again. They're all pretty similar. Some will work better in certain situations than others, so check them out. But for mostly for my hover, I like that ease in, ease out. Great. Well, let's just save this. Now, before I save this and show you, once you've got that first one made, it's really easy to make another one. Simply just clone the module. Two little squares right there. Move one of them over. It doesn't matter which one they're both exactly the same then you can just go in there select a different product let's go for a lightweight shirt as you see your, your buttons already going to be in there and it's invisible because we made it so so let's go back into our column put the image that we want in there now into our column column number three background there's the image and it was a lightweight shirt. Let's find a shirt that fits that description. I guess that will do. And we've got an image in there. And we've got the button going to where we want it. So adding a new one is as simple as that. So we'll save everything there. We've got our cart icon on that one. Let's save our page changes and check it on the front end. Save draft or publish if you're ready. And let's exit the visual builder. And there we have it. There's our little red dress. Let's add that one. There's our little blue dress. Let's add that one. We added a little purple hover color on that button. And let's add a lightweight shirt. Great. Let's check our cart, make sure it's in there. There we go. One red dress, one blue dress, one lightweight shirt. So there you go, guys. There's how to create a little fade in add to cart button over a product image. Really easy to do, nice little feature to have on your site. And of course, this will be responsive also. But on tablet, mobile, of course, they'll have to click to reveal the button. So I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, 
comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.